it got to the point where I was spending so much money, yeah. like almost a million dollars trying to like create this company out of my own money. Right, right. And they didn't want it for themselves. You yeah. know, like I was getting these big magazine cover shoots, yeah. so like cover looks and magazines and um, taking them on tour around the right, world right. twice, getting these hotels and these tour, big tour buses and spending all this money on uniform, custom uniforms and video shoots wow. and for niggas to like not give a fuck. Yeah, you know? not like, even be grateful and then see you in a bigger place. But then, like, see you as a bad guy? Well, not necessarily the bad guy. They just were really lazy. Right, right, right. Not even like a thing where they were, like, envious or jelly. They they were just really lazy. Lazy. You know what I'm saying? It was like, why am I sitting here trying so hard to make you guys? That's why I never, but that's the thing. Like, I never wanted money from my friends either. I just really wanted them to wanted them to be great. I never right. signed any of them. I never wow. put none of them on paper because I didn't want that. I wanted them to go get their own labels. Yeah. Own... Like here's the platform. Yeah, they I just get, wanted, I just wanted to the help them both. It, yeah. like, it's not like I was like, if I do anything for any of y'all, y'all all sign to me. Right, right, I need right. a percentage of everything. That's yeah. not how it was. I was literally just trying to help everyone grow. But yeah. man, even to this day, like my best friend, Earl the producer, uh-huh. Earl, Earl on the beat, Earl who, on the beat. who's on? You know, he did the Get Drip Beat, and he's yeah. on Culture 2, and he did the Act Up for City Girls. Mm-hmm. He's my best friend since third grade. Yeah. I, I, he tell me, like, he's like, yo, man, I'll sign you any day. Right, like, right. nah, bro, I want nah. you to do you, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I don't want to sign. Even though that's my best friend, I, any placement he's got is because of me. Because you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. I don't want that. I don't want to make money off my friends. No, you know what I'm just... saying? Like, just like my... Which I don't really like talking about my, you know, my old best friend Perry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, which who I'm not that close to anymore. Yeah. Um, I never wanted anything from him. Right. Just right. for him to be great. Right. You know. Yeah. But that's a long story. But you know what I'm saying? I. People from the outside would never understand that. I mean, I I went through a lot of the same things with Spaghetti Boys. Yeah. So that's kind of like why I could see that in you. Yeah. And probably vice it was versa. really tricky, man. I spent. The, I had. I had called Rocky a lot of times. Yeah, know? just to check I, in because you know he also had ASAP. The mom, so I used yeah. to. I used to call him to um get a. Like just like yo, what do I do? Like right, right. you know, you with this with group it? of people who are, you know, I, essentially the first like real family you had that, outside of like mom and like yeah and, and like and like how do I get them to. Work to get to focus, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, how, like, it's serious, which is crazy because I'm the I was literally like maybe the second to youngest out of everyone, everyone's older than me, yeah. but I don't know, you know. And then Rocky just told me one phone call we had, you know, like, you can't make anybody do anything, you yeah. know, like, you got to understand, like, you, you got to understand when enough is enough, like, yeah. you did your part, you know, in your mind and your heart that you tried, and you know, y'all still family, you still gang, but yeah. you got to, you have to do you, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I, eventually that's why I started getting tired, you know? Just yeah. like with the house. I lived with the other dudes. I was like, I, I got to gotta, gotta get focused. Y'all are grown men. Yeah. You know, y'all got to. Um, it's interesting you brought up Rocky. I, um, something that kind of helped me going through with it, he had this, uh, he had this back and forth interview with, with Snoop Dogg. I seen that. You seen that? Noisy. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg, I think that was like a year after he was famous, or like two years. And Snoop Dogg had that one quote. And he was like, You guys both start here. And then it's like, you're gonna like start going up here, but then that's not good because like your homies are like like right here. Mm-hmm. And then it's like they how how do you guys like meet even? All right, you go down, but like you can't go down because then you lose. So right. like you keep going up. And they have to like they have to meet you in the middle and have to like be there with you. Mm-hmm. And if not, they get left. But it's like, I always think about that. And it's like, you can't really put it on yourself. And it's, yeah, a lot of people won't understand. And it'll be like, oh, well, he changed. Oh, well. yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like, no, in reality, it's like I was there. It's, from the it's, re- it's really hard to deal with, though. Yeah, super. You know, I guess one thing that oh god it gets under my skin. People say I change. The the you change comment is definitely the worst one. Yeah, man, it gets under my skin because I what hurts me. It gets under my skin so much because I do a lot. Bro. Yeah, like, like I know a lot of rappers and I know a lot of rappers' crew. Yeah, see what they like a lot. You know, rappers. You, you know, honor rise. They'll have them around, but man, I do a lot. A lot. Yo, bro, I do a. I go up so above and beyond for my yeah. friends, bro. Like, 
yo, like, just, I do so much, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not even trying to brag on it, but, like, so when someone tells me that, like, even, like, homies do, I wasn't even that close to, I still do, like, yeah. like, st I've done so much for people in my life that I'm not even, like, close with, just based off of, like, trying to, like, help somebody. Right, right. So, like, that type of shit, like, blows me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? 100%. Like, irks under my skin. Cause there's a there's a lot of even upcoming rappers who like are just like kind of kind of take the road of oh well I, I'm like a, a rapper so I could be like I could act stupid and be like terrible yeah man and they just treat their crew like shit. You are someone who I've always even yeah. from afar I've seen how genuine you are. You could like really feel that. Yeah, I tr I try to be man like I just try to be a, a good person. Yeah, you know, it's like just nice.